for, for those of you who already don't know that. And uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about his who he is as a character, uh, as well as his significance in relation to the events of the Dune Saga, as well as his role as the Kwisatz Haderach, or the presumed uh, Bene Gesserit Chosen One. So let me get into this. Uh, so Paul, Paul was actually um, uh, born on Caladan, the, the home planet of House Atreides, uh, in 10,175 AG. And um, he, was born to, uh, he was born to Duke Leto Atreides and his Bene Gesserit bound con concubine, Lady Jessica. And um, he was also the older brother of uh, Ali Atreides, who was born later on Arrakis. Uh, now, um, it's interesting to note that Paul was actually the um, not not was was kind of um, not was was kind of an accident in terms of what the Bene Gesserit had planned. Um, it was actually. The Bene Gesserit who wanted uh, the Lady Jessica, Paul's mother, to um, have a daughter instead of a son with uh, with Duke Leto, um, but because out of her love for her husband, um, she 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 decided to have a son instead of a daughter. The Bene Gesserit have the ability to choose the sex of their their children while still in the womb. So she, uh, she, because the Duke wanted a son, she uh, voluntarily, uh, you know, decided to have uh, a son instead of a daughter against the wishes of the Bene Gesserit sisterhood. Uh, the Bene Gesserit sisterhood wanted to breed um, a, a Trades daughter with the Harkonnen uh, male, uh, a Harkonnen heir, um, Fade, Fade Roth the Harkonnen in this case. Uh, to produce to produce the Kwisatz, the desired Kwisatz Haderach, but it didn't go according to plan. Uh, so Paul Paul Atreides was actually kind of a wild card uh, in relation to the uh, to the scheming of the Bene Gesserit. Uh, he was he was an unexpected um, um, uh, a product of a, of a, of, a, of a plan that that uh, was supposed to go another way. So as Paul, you know, Paul um, was described physically. He was described as uh, a small boy with an oval face, with uh, tousled, coal-colored hair and green eyes. His oval face uh, was reminiscent of his mother Jessica's, uh, but he had uh, stronger bones and a brow line more reminiscent of his maternal grandfather. And uh, he had a thin. Um, this disdainful nose, as well as long eyelashes, and uh, a certain a certain hardness and ex a softness, but uh, but um, a, a, a firmness in, in in his facial expression, kind of sim similar to how his dad his dad kind of looked like that, and his grandfather uh, also had that same Atreides hawk like look. So. Um, you know, as the son of a duke and a major, uh, being being the scion of a major house in the Landsrad, uh, Paul grew up with a privileged, uh, a privileged background. Uh, he grew up in a privileged environment. You know, uh, he had a privileged childhood on the water-rich planet of Caladan. Um, uh, even though he lacked companions of his own age, uh, he received. You know, training from his uh, from his from his teachers, like men like you know, to fear Hawat, the Mentat, who trained him in the in the ways of politics and administration, and Duncan Idaho and Gurney Halleck, who trained him in the way of, ways of single-handed combat, uh, battle battle tactics, you know, strategy and war, uh, as well as uh, some of his training from Dr. Yui. Uh, so he had a good a deep education. Growing up as a young as a young uh, as a young man in uh, on 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 Caladan, uh, as and, and he had his mother, uh, who taught him the Bene Gesserit uh, methods and and, t and techniques. So uh, he he grew up to be a well-rounded young man, uh, who, who had um, training in multiple disciplines. So shortly after his fifteenth birthday, uh, this this wasn't this what I'm about to tell you wasn't really revealed. Uh, I don't think it was revealed in the in the film adaptations of Dune. Maybe not even in the novel. I don't know. 
But uh, Paul's father, Duke Leto, wanted him wanted, wanted Paul to actually become a mentat. Uh, uh, so I mean that because being a mentat would have given him the logistical capability of being one of the most feared and respected. Uh, not feared, but the most respect, one of the most respected, intelligent and prominent uh, dukes in the Imperium, um, because the Mentat's uh, uh, Mentat's capacity for for logic and, and and choosing the best possible outcome in any given situation was uh, was uh, uh, was not to be taken lightly. Um, so I mean, he would have been a formidable force. Uh, but he didn't, uh, even though he didn't formally go to any kind of mentat training, he had a lot of other, uh, importantly, as I said before, he trained with the Bene Gesserit, who, um, st who taught, I mean, his mother was a Bene Gesserit, so he learned a lot of valuable skills from her. Uh, so he was tested by, uh, Reverend Mother Gaius, Gaius Helen Mohium with a Gomjabar needle, um, and then, and, and he proved successful in this test. He was able to successfully pass the test, and and uh, and the Reverend Mother was, even though she didn't reveal reveal it to him openly, she was very impressed with his abilities. So uh, the events of, of the of the of the Dune Saga would unfold, and Paul Paul and his family would be re relocated to House of Tra to Iraq to Arrakis after House of Treaties won the fiefdom. Uh, well, the Emperor had given the, given House of Treaties the fiefdom of Arrakis. Um, but this was actually a trap, though, because the Emperor and the Harkonnen wanted to bring House Atreides down on Arrakis. So they would eventually, I mean, not only, I mean, he, they would, they would attempt, they would attempt to take his life, to, to kill, to, to murder Paul on Arrakis, the Harkonnen would, uh, um, possibly with the Emperor's in, in involvement in, um, in, 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 in um, when they put a hunter seeker in his bedroom, and he was able to successfully out uh, out maneuver the the hunter seeker and destroy it in time, so that assassination plot failed. But when the um, emperor the Harkonnen attacked on Arrakis, uh, his father was killed, and uh, him and his mother were forced to flee into the desert. They escaped into the desert, and eventually they'd meet up with the Fremen, and he would. Join the he, his Paul and Jessica would join the Fremen. They'd be accepted by the Fremen into their tribe, and uh, Paul would be essentially become the leader of the Fre like he would lead the Fremen. Um, he would he would he would lead an uprising against the Emperor and the Harkonnen on Arrakis. Uh, he'd be, he be he was able to to forge a strong alliance with the Fremen and they eventually defeated the Emperor and the uh, Harkonnen uh, on Arrakis and at this during this time just before he ascended to the throne his younger sister Ali Atreides would be born Ali Atreides would have all the genetic ancestral memories of her ancestors because she was born when while when her mother her mother took the water of life when she was still in the womb so uh she was conceived in an unnatural uh, in an unnatural method and eventually this would she would she would go on um to to be to become the abomination she would get possessed by the um by the spirits of her of her long dead ancestors uh but when paul so paul you know kind of proved himself to be the at least the Kwisatz Haderach, but not quite the Kwisatz Haderach that the Bene Gesserit had wanted him to, to had wanted. He was kind of something more, something not quite the Kwisatz Haderach, but something possibly beyond the Kwisatz Haderach at the same time. Uh, so Paul, you know, when Paul ascended the the um, the throne on Arrakis and uh, became the new emperor, he would what would happen then would that. Well, what would happen uh, was that he would um, lead a, a, a violent, a, a rather violent and bloody jihad on the, uh, on, the, uh, on, the, on the on the on the planet on, on various against various other great houses of the known universe, universe and planets uh, who would not accept him as the new emperor. 
so this caused a lot. This caused the death of billions of people, but he he believed it was a necessary part of his plan uh, of guiding humanity to a be- to a better future, of guiding humanity's destiny uh, in a set in a in, in some senses. So he believed it was necessary. He he had prescience, powers of prescience. He could foresee future events. Uh, he could also see. Not, he could also look into the past and he could also look at, into even he, he was capable of some 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 aspect of remote viewing. He could see what was going on um, in the in the present moment. Like he was able to when he was on Iraq is before he led the um, the uh, rebellion against the Harkonnen and the and the emperor. He was able to view the. Uh, he was. He had a vision of of the Emperor Shaddam Karino's uh, amassed fleet in space above, above Arrakis, ready to attack. So, and and that caused him to um, imp- implement countermeasures that would ensure that no harm would come to Arrakis, and that he would he would he would gain victory. Um, so, you know, after that. Um, once he had cemented and consolidated his throne on Arrakis, um, it, it, it changed the dynamics of power in the known universe. And the Corinos were no longer really the, they were shadow, they became a shadow of their former selves. The Sardaukar were not, uh, not, not, um, not really the same. Uh, they weren't feared and respected as they were at one point in the past. Uh, the Fremen commandos and the Atreides military were now the dominant powers in the universe. So it changed a lot of things. And Paul had a vision for Arrakis. He believed that he could trans- transform it into a green and fertile world. Um, and he, he thought that this was a necessary part of, uh, he thought it would be ne- necessary to do this. Um, and as this was part of what he believed would be his would be his his plan to help humanity, uh, you know, help humanity move forward towards a better a better future. Uh, but he always he always he wanted to make sure that part of the part of the planet of Arrakis was desert so that the sandworms wouldn't die off completely because the sandworms were necessary to. Uh, you know, in terms of pr- producing spice without, with, you know, if the, the worms died off, then there would be no spice. So that was something that he had to, uh, he had to make sure of. So, I mean, even though he had, he had, um, in, you know, he, had, he was a very strong leader and he, he had formidable pressing abilities, uh, superhuman in many respects. Um, he had a lot of rivals in the empire. Uh, notably, um, you know, once he ascended the throne, the, the, you know, the, every everyone um, kind of like a lot of the the other ma- major factions in the in the in the Dune universe turned against him. Uh, secretly, they plotted they, they plotted to destroy him. The Bene Gesserit, the the ben, Bene Tleilax, Tleilaxu, the uh, certain certain fringe groups within the Fremen, um, the dethroned but still powerful House Carino. Um, so, I and mean, there were a lot of. Um, Plots and, and attempts against his life. Well, f- at least a few attempts on his life. Uh, one was when um, there was a plan to detonate an atomic weapon in the vicinity where Paul was uh, in Arakeen. It was called the atomic we- uh, the atomic device was called a stone burner. Um, but the stone burner did did do a lot of damage, but it didn't kill him. It caused him to it caused caused Paul to go blind. But he was able to, even despite being physically blind, he was still able to see somehow, not, not completely, not, not, um, not in, the, in the normal sense, but he was still able to, to have some kind of sight, even, with, even though he, he was physically blind, uh, using prescient abilities. I'm not sure exactly how, how he managed to pull this off, but he did. Um, so, you know, later on... Um, what would happen was that uh, uh, Paul Paul would um, would gradually, um, you know, um, essentially uh, he thought that it was what what Paul Paul made the decision to to kind of wander off into the desert after that uh, after the birth of his children Ganima and Leto Leto the second. 
his wife died. Not his wife, his bound, con- sorry, his concubine died. Uh, Chani, which was his true love. Erolin was his wife, but he, it was, he was only married to Erolin because of politics, not because he really loved Erolin. Erolin was jealous of this, of the fact that Paul genuinely loved Ch- Ch- Chani. And um, Erolin gave, um, I guess she put drugs in Chaney's food uh, because she wanted to abort Chaney's pregnancy because um, she just couldn't handle the fact that Paul was conceiving his, his, his son and daughter with Chaney and not with her. But if, I mean, this, the pregnancy was successful, but Chaney unfortunately died shortly after giving birth to the, the twins. Um, and um, this, 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 this caused him to kind of go over the edge and wander off into the desert, um, offering himself up to Shai Hulud, uh, as was the Fremen custom for the blind. Um, and this kind of, you know, it, it sent a powerful statement to the Fremen uh, Paul's best interests were for the tribe and that even he, Paul, the, the Mahdi, uh, the chosen one of the Fremen, was not above Fremen law. Uh, but I mean, you know, it, it, you know as, as, as the events unfolded, uh, Ali Atreides, his, his younger sister, became the regent on Arrakis and she kind of took control of things. But she became increasingly paranoid and um, tyrannical and out of control uh, because she was possessed by the memories and spirits of her distant ancestors, notably the Baron Vladimir Harkonnen. So this 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 created a lot of uh, unrest uh, during. I mean, her rule was very tumultuous. So uh, you know, at, at this point in time, uh, Jessica Trades was worried about the uh, future of her grandchildren, Lido and Ganema. So she, she went back, she came, to, she came to Arrakis to, to oversee things and to keep an eye on Alia to make sure that you know, the children weren't harmed. Um, she was just unsure of, of Alia's intentions. So eventually what would happen was that Alia would, would go out, would, would go, get worse and worse, and she would, she would eventually take her own life because the possession had become uh, beyond anything that she could control. Uh, so there was, she, she, yeah, so she committed suicide, um, but um, it, it, was, it, was, it, it was sad how it, how it all happened, but uh, you know, during the during the ensuing chaos, uh, Paul Paul returned. Surprisingly, he was not dead. Uh, he was still alive, and he returned to Ara- to, to Arakin, um, revealing to Gurney Halleck and Lady Jessica that he indeed was was uh, Lady Jessica's son, Paul, and that you know his empire had spiraled into 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 a disillusioned um, into kind of a disillusioned. Um, um, chaotic situation and uh, he took his own life well no he sorry i i, I take that back uh he was actually murdered um right after he he gave his speech uh in the in, the, in front of um, um many onlookers and in front of lady jessica and girlie halleck about how um the idea of wadib had become perverted and um as a, you know, as a, his his message was no longer being uh, kind of um, like it was was no longer kind of um, was was the best way for me to say this. Uh, I guess pr- not promoted, but spread across the known universe the way he had wanted it to be to be spread, uh, and that his, his his the idea the ideas the ideals that he had envisioned for his empire had become perverted. Um, so at this, so this was, this was, you know, when, so this was, that was the end of, uh, of Paul Atreides and the Dune Saga. Um, but his legacy would continue, um, with, with, uh, Leto, this Leto, the so-called God Emperor of Dune, Leto, this just, and, the, the, um, which it could be argued by some that Leto, Paul Atreides' son Leto was the true Kwisatz Haderach and the true, um, savior of humanity in terms of how he led humanity along the golden path. Uh, the golden path is the ideal kind of like the envisioned path for t- 
to, to guide humanity along a safe course um, to a, you know, it, uh, the golden path was, I made a separate video on this topic. If you, if you uh, visit my channel, you should see it. Um, the golden path was actually uh, a plan to ensure that humanities was not, was not threatened or not put in danger uh, in the far future by any unknown forces. Uh, it was a plan that was designed to to lead humanity um, to a. It, it's difficult for me to, to 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 try to say to try to to try to put it in words, but it's like there's there were there were countless possibilities, uh, and there was there was just a lot of things that could have happened to humanity uh, after the death of Paul Atreides and. Duke and his son, Paul Atreides' son, Duke, uh, uh, not Duke, uh, Leto, the, Leto, the so-called God Emperor of Arrakis, uh, was the, the, the driving force in guiding the, the, the destiny of humanity for thousands of years going forward into the future events, into the far future events of Dune. So, um, you know, so this is so 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 that's 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 about it. That's uh, that's the story of Paul uh, of Paul Atreides, uh, also known as Paul Muad'Dib. Um, I'd like to thank you for um, watching and listening to my video today. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And please visit my channel for more videos on Dune.